or pretty much what we're going to do here is use the quotient rule. Um, so what's going to happen here is, um, so what we have is the derivative of the first part. So the derivative of the sine x plus 1 is going to be cosine x times, um, well, hold on, let me just redo this. So d dx of 1 plus sine x times, oh yeah, that's right, so it would be, um, 1 over the cosine x. Actually, I can actually use the product rule here. Um, plus uh, derivative of 1 over cosine x times 1 plus sine of x. All right, so the derivative of this here ends up being derivative of 1, 0. Um, derivative of sine of x is equal to cosine of x times cosine of x or it's not cosine of x, um, 1 over cosine x, I get 0, um, or just 1, excuse me. Um, and then the derivative of <clears throat> 1 over cosine x is secant x tangent x times 1 plus sine x, where I end up with is 1 plus secant x tangent x plus <clears throat> secant x tangent x sine x. And further what I can do is um, well I'm having a heck of a time here but I do know from my calculations and using rule frame alpha that this uh, reduces down into this. I know that doesn't quite answer the question, but um, I'm just having a heck of a time getting this to reduce down to that. But I know D is the right answer, secant squared uh, plus secant x tangent x. So, all right, hope that helps at least a little.